Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, why has the United States continued to increase restrictions on Chinese chips, from hardware to software, from equipment to materials, from logic chips to storage, AI chips, in an attempt to completely obstruct the development of our chip industry with a comprehensive blockade. The reason is that they have seen various breakthroughs in the mainland, such as 5G, BIDA navigation, space stations, shield machines, etc. Once there is another breakthrough in chips, the losses of the United States will be even more severe. But the United States, did not expect that the chip situation suddenly reversed. After all, in the global chip industry, the United States chip exports have always accounted for about 50% of the global total. Although the United States has promoted the outsourcing of manufacturing, the share of domestic chip manufacturing has dropped from 37% of the world to about 10% today. But the United States is still very advanced in chip design, with the largest number of top design companies, such as Qualcomm, AMD, NVIDIA and other American companies. Many of them are chip giants in various segments, and occupy a large share in the world. In order to continue to maintain its leading position, the United States initiated restrictions on Chinese chips, but the chip situation actually developed in the opposite direction. Previously, the mainland was the world's largest chip market, importing a large number of chips every year. After the US restrictions, the mainland has set off a high tide of chip construction, chip production capacity has been greatly improved, imports have continued to decline, and exports have grown rapidly. Recently, my country's customs released import and export data for the first half of 2025. Among them, the number of chip exports reached 167.77 billion, an increase of 20.6% year-on-year, and the total amount of chip exports reached 650.26 billion yuan, an increase of 20.3% year-on-year. At the same time, the number of chip imports increased by 8.9% to 281.88 billion, and the value increased by 8.3% to 1.38 trillion yuan. From the above data comparison, it can be seen that the growth rate of chip export quantity and amount far exceeds the growth rate of chip imports. This shows to a certain extent that the chips produced in our mainland have begun to go abroad and occupy foreign markets. If the comparison of import and export data cannot explain the problem, then the report of the well-known survey agency Yol can explain it better. According to the survey report data of the agency, as of 2024, the chip foundry share of our mainland has accounted for 21% of the world, ranking second in the world, and the first place is Taiwan province of China with 23%. Other data are shown in the figure below. It can be seen that after the US implemented restrictions on Chinese chips, the chip foundry share of our mainland has accelerated. That's not all. According to Yol's forecast, the chip foundry share of the mainland will rise to 30% in 2030, becoming the world's first. In other words, by then, our mainland will not only surpass Taiwan, China, but will also be far ahead in the global chip foundry market. As for the US, 
although it is also working hard to improve its local chip manufacturing capabilities, it will not be improved much because it is no longer suitable for chip manufacturing development. As a result, the more sanctions and suppression the US imposes, the faster the development of mainland chips will be. Take AI chips for example. In order to make its own AI leading, the US has restricted the export of advanced AI chips from US companies such as Nvidia and AMD to China, hoping that our mainland will lag behind in the development of the AI industry due to the lack of cutting-edge AI chips. As a result, Nvidia lost tens of billions of dollars, and its market share in the mainland dropped from 90% to 50%. More importantly, our mainland AI industry was not only not affected, but domestic AI chips have grown rapidly. The most obvious is that Huawei's Ascend AI chip has come up, and even Huang Renshuan said that its performance is not inferior to NVIDIA's chips. According to relevant data, in 2019, when the US launched sanctions, the share of domestic GPUs in the domestic market was less than 5%. After the US has continuously increased chip restrictions in recent years, the market share of domestic GPUs will reach 30% by 2024. Especially in April this year, after the US further restricted NVIDIA's H20 exports to China, domestic AI chips have been sold out in the past three months. Not only Huawei's Ascend AI chips have been snapped up, but many Chinese companies such as Kunlun Core and Cambrian have also received orders. It is in this context that the US recently opened up H20 sales to China, allowing Nvidia to seize the domestic market again. You know, this situation is very rare. The US has never relaxed any chip restrictions in the past few years. Therefore, we must clearly realize that the US's lifting of H20 chip restrictions on China is aimed at suppressing domestic chips. This is consistent with the purpose of the chip restriction policy that the US has always implemented. As long as we respond correctly, we can turn pressure into motivation, let the US restrictions and dumping have a counter-effect, and stimulate the powerful force of our chip technology independence.